Good morning, my dear students. Now today I am going to discuss the programs. In this, we have to find the series and uh, the numbers which we have to take as a use user input that we will take from the input statement and we will convert the number in integer format because by default input is having the string format data type now here program to find the factorial of given number this is the first part which i would like to discuss because this we will use in our next program so first you must know that how we can calculate the factorial of any given number without this it will be tough to find the value now fact is zero i have written this is only to show you because this will create error when when we are calculating factorial factorial means it will be the multiple of all the numbers less than the original number and it will be greater than zero now here if we will multiply zero means fact is zero and always it will be multiplied so you can get the answer zero so this is not correct now this is the error so we have to rectify that program and we have to give the value 1 at the place of 0. Now here you can see 1 plus this is the series original series factorial 1 and the same thing 1 slash 2 factorial. One slash two factorial plus this we will copy because the same thing we have to apply again and again and plus one plus three factorial here like so on it will go up to the end terms one slash n factorial and it will go up to n terms so in the last program as we know that uh, how we will calculate the factorial program so same code we have to write here now n is equal to input enter the number enter the number now factorial which was 0 earlier we have to update it 1 because 0 is not the proper thing if we, if we will write 0 then every time we will multiply the number it will give us it will give us 0 now we will run the for loop because we need the number each and every time so for i in range for i in range n means it will run from 0 to n but we want from 1 to n so if we are running if we are writing here if we are writing here n only then it will give us 0 to n so this is a mistake we have to just update it this is only for your knowledge and a is greater than 1 means each and every time it will be cal uh, means finding its value and factorial equal to factorial into a we will just decrement the value of a inside this program now this is for your understanding I have written I would like to show you that how this program is working so you can see each and every time 1 1 is coming now here we have to make certain changes we will just you can see the number which we have given 1 2 6 24 and 72 it is coming like this now if our program is correct then we have to use this value in the series which is given upside so for the series we are calculating the sum so we will use some variable in this Now here sum equal to sum plus
sum plus one slash fact and fact will give you the value each and every time why sum is one because we, we have to add first time first number so you can see this is the answer and these are the factorial number values as it is given if you are running this then many different different values you can give to run the same program now write a program to accept the age of an employee and count the number of person means the range is given in your question you can see in the question open the book and we have to write the code as per the given situation now take the age as input age equal to int input enter the age now you can see this program will run only for one time as I have not written while loop so this should be your thinking process that you have to uh, just write the loop for or while to make it repeated why we will use while loop because while loop is the conditional loop until and unless the loop is not terminated it will run the program now here I am giving the range if age is equal to 26 and age is less than equal to 35 then c equal to c plus 1 l if again the next condition we have to give age is greater than equal to 36 and age is less than equal to 45 so here one uh, next counter we will use c1 equal to c1 plus 1 now l if this situation i am copying because in this we can update our value 46 and 55 then in else I am giving the condition that please uh, uh, give the correct range of value we must need the correct range of values enter the value in the range only Now I am giving the print message only and in this I will use the counter. Now use the range. Here I am updating the range and there is a next counter which we have used that I am writing. Now in the next here enter the age this is the wrong in input now here 56 it is out of range 
so no value is calculated and the message is coming enter the value in range again run the program you can see here 45 so 1 it is coming Now in this program, I am writing this in the while loop to make it repeated again and again. And I am following the indentation rule, that's why I am erasing and writing this in a proper format. Now. You can see enter the age inside the loop I have written. So after certain changes I have just shown you the answer 45 again and again it is repeating you can see now. Each and every time it is asking the answer and you are giving the value so it is calculating whenever you will give no then it will just terminate the program so you can see its count is 2 and 3 thank you student